everyone welcome back again to ansi couple tv hope you all are doing good today's video is going to be so interesting that i am going to talk about the most searched topic right now when we are currently staying in us that is how to renew your indian passport when I will be talking about the renewal of Indian passport through a normal service, not a Tatkal service. Because in a normal service, you will be charged less as compared to Tatkal. If you are not in urgency and you have the time of two to three weeks, so please go ahead for a normal service of a passport renewal process. And we will talk in detail about how much you have to pay. for reissuing your indian passport in united states and how you can complete the entire process within 2 to 3 hours of time so please watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any information which i'll be going to share you can start the process in one year in advance many people think that we can do this process by going back to our home country india and get the passport reissue but truly speaking if you are in us it is the most easiest process to renew your indian passport so without wasting much of your time i will start the video and whatever links and information i am going to talk in this video i will also attach the details in the description below so please go and check it out in case you have any questions so please comment down in the section definitely i'll be going to answer them the process is very simple so please be stay tuned till the end of the video and in the end of the video i will also attach the another video which will talk about all the documentations which you have to submit to the vfs global or counseling so there are two websites where you have to register yourself first one is embassy passport india.gov.in and second one will be vfs global So I will take you to both the website steps and processes to register yourself and then to fill the application form. So starting with the step one, you have to log into embassy. passport india. gov. in. Here you will see couple of countries. Option select Americas. As soon as you will click on USA, then Passport Seva at Indian Embassies and Consulates website will open. So click on Register. So first thing you have to select Embassy and Consulate. Please be cautious while selecting Embassy and Consulate in this particular page. So there are six different places in USA from where you can renew your Indian passport. We are staying in Austin, Texas. So for us, Houston is the best place to renew the Indian passport. Post to that. Mention your name. Mention your surname. Mention your correct. date of birth as per your passport mention your email id it is always a best option to use your email id as your register login credential so you can mention as yes you can enter your password and confirm the password post to that it will ask for a one hint question out of these six different hint question you can select the best one which you can remember first thing is enter characters display so you can write the characters which are displayed on the screen and click on register by this you have registered yourself in passport seva at indian embassies and consulate web Website. After the validation done by your email link, you can come back to this website and click on user login. This is the application home screen. So we have created this request for renewing our passport. So I have to select apply for ordinary passport option, and it will take you to the application. There are total nine steps in this applications where you have to fill your information correctly, starting with the passport type. As you already have a passport and you are applying to renew it, so the option will be selected as reissue of a passport. the second option you have to select the reason for reissuing of the passport so you have to select the second reason type of application will be normal and type of passport booklet will be 36 pages you can click on the next option and then applicant details page will open give your name on the first block as a first name and your surname after that select the gender third question will be how you have ever been known by other name select no have you ever changed your name you can mention no date of birth whatever is there in your current passport give that correct date of birth here. then place of birth is your birth place is out of india if you select the option no ask two things state and district so mention the correct information there next move to marital status option give your correct marital status here since ship of india by i have born there so it is the third option next you can give your pan number here after that voter id here employment type so here again there will be couple of drop down options you will get choose based on your current occupation as i am a software engineer in a private sector so i have selected private post to that mention your education 
educational qualification will be mostly graduate and above again there are two questions which you have to select yes and no you can select based on your parents occupation for me it was no and the last category is applicant eligible for non ecr category the option will be yes make sure that we use this option as yes as always then last two fields will be visible distinguish mark and then aadhar card number as accept yes and agree the conditions and save it and move to the next page next page is having details about father mother your legal guardian and your spouse so mention all the details one by one in between it will also show you a pop up as you are applying this passport from the usa so they have mentioned as a clause that it is not necessary that you have to be in india while applying the reissuance of passport you have to go to the fourth page applicant address details it is mandatory to provide one indian address in the form for police verification give your house number village select the street district and give the pin code over here telephone number is optional mobile number make sure you use the isd code before entering the mobile number starting with 91 followed by your mobile number your email id and select the nearest police station based on your address you have given of india second section is other address detail in this you can give your current usa address detail where you are currently residing here again the question is asked is your other address is out of india you have to select yes give the address and select the region and country again here for the usa mobile number please use isd code as one and give your mobile number all the star mark fields are mandatory to fill the application and proceed to the next page then it will ask you is your passport printable address exactly same to the indian address printed on the previous passport if there is no change then please select the green option that is no change in address which of the application will be emergency contact details provide your any contact details from usa in case of any emergency you can click next it will take you to previous passport details so in this it will ask all the information about the current passport which you are holding but it is going to expire so from that passport you have to mention your correct passport number place of issue and the date of issue and the date of expiry all this information you will get in your current passport in the same page it have two more questions if you are not holding maroon or gray color passport the options will be selected as a second one that is detail not available the next question will be have you ever applied for the passport but not issue again the option should be selected as no then you have to move on to the next screen that is other details on this other details page all the options will be selected as no but you can read out the questions on your own and select based on your state of your passport and then i move to the next page which will show how my passport will finally look please review your passport details which you have filled but in case of any issue you can go back and correct the information again but if the information looks to you correct then finally select the next option it will show you the caution message that if you press okay the same information is going to be printed on your passport as the information you have given is correct click on okay and then move to the next page and this is the final page that is applicant form summary it will have all the information which you have filled so far in your application you can again go through this page that all the information is correct or not if everything is correct you can finally go to the last part of the page that is i agree that all the information i have given is correct here you can select the i agree option give and mention the place here from where you are filling this application then submit the application while you click on submit it will again show the cautious message your all details are correct Please select the green box. That is, yes, all details are correct. Then your application is successfully submitted. First part of the application is completed. Please make note of your application reference number, which we will be using now to create an account in VFS Global. Talking about the step two, you have to log into VFS Global website. The, all the links which I am talking about, I will be mentioning in the description. You can also refer the links from there. Click here on new user registration. Give your first name, last name, your email address, your phone number. Make sure that you give along with your ISD. code and then give the password confirm the password and there are further check boxes which you have to select that you have gone through each and every page terms and condition disclaimers cookies as soon as you will click on privacy policy it will take you to the privacy policy page like the refund policy check box and it will take you to the refund policy page to go through it and then again come back and check that check box you can give this captcha which is mentioned here and submit your registration make sure the disclaimer is already mentioned here if the id will be inactive for last 30 days the account 
will be deactivated. As you have already registered yourself in VFS Global website, now click here and come to login page. Give your email address and password. After this, this website will open. We have to click on create new application and there will be seven different options come in your screen. You have to fill information correctly in all those seven options. Visiting country will be India. Residing country will be right now where you are residing. So residing country will be United States of America. Center, whatever you have selected in Indian passport website, select the same here. So I have selected Houston in VFS Global website. After that, main category, select the option reissuance of passport. And then application category will be passport going to expire slash already expired 10 years validity. And select the application type. So here you are going to post your document. So by default, it is selected as postal and then select payment method. I have selected online payment by debit card slash credit card option. Click on continue. So your application is being created. Now you have to add your details is as a customer in VFS Global website. Click on this add customer option and give the details as in this particular page. Government reference number that is ARN number which you have already got from Indian passport website. Copy this number and go back to VFS site give that ARN number here. Select the booklet type that is ordinary and the current passport number give your correct date of birth passport expiry date place of birth passport issue date passport place of issue select nationality last name middle name last name gender your father full name and select the type of service as it is a normal service not tatkal so select normal and give your us mobile number along with isd code mention your email address and the state so the state will be texas from where i am right now applying my passport as soon as you submit the next screen will come you can select that the customer details is being added in the vfs global you can still go and edit the details and if all the details are correct then you can select the courier service by which you are going to post all the documents related to the passport to the embassy. There will be two options. BFS offered courier service or you are going to use your own courier label. I always suggest that go with them so it will always be safe and secure. Current courier provider for BFS Global is FedEx. Click on continue. So it will show you the total amount which you are going to pay for your passport renewal. That is $133.41. So now you want to create label for your application. Again, for creation of label, it will ask couple of details, your current country, your company name. You can give your name here and then your street address, your current apartment, zip code, city, state. So you can give your current details where you are staying in US. By that details, your UPS or FedEx label will be created. For sure, right now, I'm not going to pay it. You can go back to the download courier label option and give your ARN number, passport number and email address to download your courier label by using which you have to send all your documents to the embassy. Please note that the return courier label, you do not have to create that. VFS Global will take care of it. So please don't worry that the return courier mail is not generated. Once you download your courier label, then all the process is being done for filling the information in the two different websites that is Indian Passport website and the VFS Global. So one additional information I want to share with you that you can go to visa.vfsglobal.com website and here select the option as passport service. Here also they have given the step by step guide. You can also refer this particular page for more information in detail. I will also attach this link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching the entire video. Hope you find this video informative. Again, in case of any questions, please comment down your questions. We are definitely here to answer your questions. Please go and watch another video linked in the description for all the documents which you have to submit while reissuing of the passport. Please like, share and subscribe to Unsickable TV. This is all for now. Thank you so much. See you in next video.